welcome back. Today we're going to be learning one look for corner orientation, edge orientation, and corner permutation on the square one. There are a total of 22 algorithms to accomplish this goal. However, most of them are pretty simple and similar to each other, so accomplishing this goal won't be too hard. In case you don't know what these terms mean, I'll show you an example. So corner orientation means getting all the yellow corners on top. Edge orientation means getting all the yellow edges on top. And then corner permutation means permutating all of the corners. Without further ado, let's get right on into it. So our first corner orientation case is when all the yellow corners are on the bottom. So the algorithm for this is offset the top layer, slice, six, six, slice, and then realign. Our next case is when you have two consecutive here and two consecutive on the bottom. Simply offset, slice, realign. Then we have diagonal on top and diagonal on bottom. So you want to put the yellow corners here and here around your thumb, and then you will offset top layer, slice, three, three, slice, realign layer. Our next case is three yellows on top and one on bottom. So you want to put the white piece here and the yellow piece right here. So offset, slice, negative three, zero, slice. And then we have the opposite, which is one yellow on top, three yellows on bottom. So we want to put the yellow corner in top left and the white corner bottom right. So offset, slice, negative three, six, slice. Then we have consecutive on top and diagonal on bottom. So you want to put the consecutive pieces here and one of the diagonal dots here. So offset, slice, zero, three, slice, zero, three, slice. And then we have the opposite of that case, which is diagonal on top, consecutive on bottom. So diagonal dot goes here, consecutive yellow pieces go here. Offset, slice, negative three, zero, slice, negative three, zero, slice. Moving on to edge orientation, there are also seven cases for this. So the first case is when you need to move every single edge. So offset, slice, negative one, negative one, slice, negative two, four, slice, negative one, negative one, slice. Then two sets of opposite edges. Offset, slice, negative one, negative one, slice. Now we have two sets of consecutive edges. Make sure that you put the L's here and here. So offset top layer, slice three, zero, slice, negative one, negative one, slice, negative three, zero, slice. Now we have three on top and three on bottom. Make sure that you place them here and here. This algorithm is really similar to that last one. So offset the top layer, slice three, zero, slice three, zero, slice negative one, negative one, slice negative three, zero, slice negative three, zero, slice. Now for one and one. So you want to place it on the right here and on the bottom back. So offset, slice three, zero, slice three, zero, slice negative one, negative one, slice negative two, negative one, slice negative three, zero, slice. Now we have opposite on top, consecutive on the bottom. So first we're gonna offset the bottom layer, then slice three, zero, slice negative three, zero, slice one, one, slice three, zero, slice negative three, zero, slice. And now for the opposite of that case, which is consecutive on top, opposite on bottom. So once again, offset the bottom layer, slice four, one, slice three, zero, slice negative one, negative one, slice negative two, one, slice negative three, zero, slice. Now for the last eight algorithms. These algorithms are going to do a JB or NB perm at the top and a JA or NA perm for the bottom. So first we have J on top, J on bottom. The algorithm is slice negative three, zero, slice three, three, slice zero, negative three, slice. Next we have just J perm on top. So the algorithm is slice zero, negative three, slice zero, three, slice zero, negative three, slice three, zero, slice negative three, three, slice. Then we have just J perm on bottom. So the algorithm is slice negative three, zero, slice three, zero, 
slice negative 3, 0, slice 0, 3, slice 3, negative 3, slice. Now for the cases with only n perms. So this one is n on top, n on bottom. Slice negative 3, 3, slice 3, negative 3, slice. Now we have just n perm on top. So the algorithm is slice negative 3, negative 3, slice 3, 0. Slice negative 3, negative 3, slice 3, 0. Slice negative 3, negative 3, slice. Now we have just n perm on bottom. So the algorithm is slice negative 3, negative 3, slice 0, 3. Slice negative 3, negative 3, slice 0, 3. Slice negative 3, negative 3, slice. Next, we add j on top and n on bottom. So the algorithm is slice 0, negative 3, slice 0, 3, slice 0, negative 3, slice 0, 3, slice. Lastly, we have j on bottom and n on top. So the algorithm is slice negative 3, 0, slice 3, 0, slice negative 3, 0, slice 3, 0, slice. Well, that concludes this one look video. But if you want to get faster at edge permutation, I made a separate video just on that. If you want to view that, then I'll link that in the description. These algorithms are super helpful if you're trying to get faster at square one, and I definitely suggest that you take the time to practice and finger trick these. I hope this video is helpful to you, and for the future, good luck.